I'm Nathan Moore, and I'm a sophomore at Palisade High right now. Yes, hello. Um, my name is John C. Nathan. I'm a junior at Pastor Robles High School. Um, yeah, and I'm excited for this. We're ready to have some good discussions. Hi, I'm Lottie Abascal. I'm a senior at Paso High. Hi, I'm Ivan. Uh, I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is uh, Manuel, and I'm a junior at Paso Robles, Paso Robles High School. Oh, does anyone here support what happened in the slightest? No, not, not, not one not. bit, no. <laughs> no. Oh. And now, bro, it's an L. <laughs> Have the DC riots changed any of your views on politics or reinforced or reinforced them? Uh, yeah. Okay. So after seeing the the DC uh, the riot in the Capitol, obviously no president wants to like gas up their people and be like, "Hi guys, pick the pick up your pick pick four or and just storm the Capitol. I'm with you 100. percent I'm gassing you up. I'm your yes man. Uh, obviously no no president wants to do that. So I'm just like doggily. Doggy, doggy paddling back to like in between, not affili affiliating myself with the right, but still like okay, let me just let's just step back for a little bit. Let's just reconsider oh, not, 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 it. Like let's just think about what happened. And yeah, I'm just. I think for me personally, I. Um, I guess for me it's been a gradual shift from the right to the left. And now that these riots have happened, yeah, I think that might have um, sped up that process. But overall, I can see that both sides are saying that this is wrong. And, you know, this is only a, hand, a handful of people with overtly uh, radical views, so I don't put the blame on Republicans. In fact, I, in fact, some of the Republican views I strongly agree with. But, yeah, uh, I think that's what the DC riots uh, have. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess they've changed my views, but they've changed my views by a, by a margin, a small margin, not too much though. Uh, I also have a response to the discussion. Um, uh, Manuel, that was a lovely response. I didn't want to say that. Um, it was a lot of people, like I, obviously I wasn't there, but um, there was like thousands of people there. It was, I don't know if I can say it, it was a small people, but anyways, um, Obviously, we all learned um, a few things from watching these, but for me, I was just really surprised that so many people were willing to turn to violence so quickly to overthrow the democratic system we've had in place for 2,000 plus years, 2,200, um, not that long. Um, and um, another thing that I thought is um, sometimes it's pretty confusing to know like what's like right or what's wrong, you know, um, but at least in this case, I'm really glad I'm not marching at the same size as the white supremacists, so glad of that. Anyways, that's my answer. Well, I would argue that this wasn't just out of the blue all of a sudden, because Republicans over time have been feeling more and more disenfranchised by the Democratic Party, doing things here and there, by seeing things come out, whether true or false, about states not following their own election laws. And when you see something that says, well, the state didn't follow their own election laws, how can I trust my own state? How can I trust my own governor if they don't follow their own laws? It's, it comes down to over time, Republicans have probably been feeling like these more radical Republicans, or there were also a lot of people there who weren't affiliated with political parties who were feeling, who do I have to trust? I, I don't have anybody to trust. I'm going to go make my voice heard and just see how it goes, you know? Yeah, for First sure. Done it, man. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, one thing that makes me a little bit sad about that, though, 
is that obviously in the United States, we do have a, at least an attempt at a way to make everyone's voices heard through votes. Um, and so far, it seems in most cases, these votes are honored and that the election results um, to get these officials in place are you know, honored, they're taken out. And so I'm very sad that in this case, they were seamless, sort of baselessly attacked um, just because they didn't go the way that someone wanted. Um, I'm not quite sure what um, laws were broken by state officials, but um, it sort of seems to me like more of the complaint to this election was that the results didn't go as they wanted, which shouldn't really be a valid complaint in a democracy. So anyways, um, it makes me sad that people want to undermine the democratic system we've had.